Good morning again. Oh. 50 things that really matter is uploading as I'm about to record this video. Which, I don't know, it doesn't matter if I say that or not in this video. But, uh, <clears throat> real quick, welcome to the channel. This channel is Grey Cloudy Day. And uh, I am Grey Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. For this is the only moment that is important. It's the only moment I have. I'm making a video. I'm trying to stay out of my head. Not to tear up too much about my dog. That being said, we're going to get into this. I didn't share with you Jesus Calling uh, yesterday. But, uh... Yesterday's was about, uh... When things are going wrong, uh, or when things seem like they're worst, finding that place within you and, and reaching out to the Creator, you know, trusting and having faith that even in some of the worst days, uh, things can, you know, look up. You can be looking up, even on a downer day. But, uh, it talks about you can put on your brakes trying not to hit the whole complete bottom, you know, that you may be heading towards or think you're heading towards. By reaching out and calling out uh, for help to the Creator and then to our fellow people, you know. But let's get it. I'm not going to read it to you from yesterday, but I'm just giving you kind of an insight what it was about. Let's go to October 4th here. And I want to say that probably beginning in 2025, because when I got this, we were already about in the middle of the, of the year. Like we had a good bit of the year gone by when I was given this like four or five months ago. So in the beginning of January, I will begin rereading this because I never did start from the beginning on video with anybody. So I'll restart it next year. I think it's a good devotional to share with everybody and everything. Uh, even when we get into the ones that I've already done on video, I think it'll be fine to keep doing it to see how, uh, what my reflections are from the previous, you know, cause I haven't done, I haven't done these consistently. I haven't, read to you guys from every single day just because some days I'm not you know I read them to myself every day but here we go I am the creator of heaven and earth lord of all that is and all that will ever be although I am unimaginably vast I choose to dwell within you permeating you with my presence only in the spirit realm could someone so infinitely great live within someone so very small be awed by the power and the glory of my spirit within you. Though the Holy Spirit is infinite, he deems, he deems to be your helper. He is always ready to offer assistance. All you need to do is ask. When the path before you looks easy and straightforward, you may be tempted to go it alone instead of relying on me. This is when you are in the greatest danger of stumbling. Ask my spirit to help you as you get, as you go each step of the way. Never neglect this glorious source of strength within you. Yeah, I can imagine that. You know, when things are running smooth, it's easier to forget about calling on our our, our uh, greater power there. You know, to call on Christ, to call on the Creator, to call out for help when we're doing good. Just because we may be running smooth and things seem to be all right doesn't mean we shouldn't still sometimes realize we may need help. And then sometimes when things are running smooth, maybe all we need to do is say thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for this day. But that goes for even bad days. So I guess I'm I'm giving thanks right now. You know, I have said thanks today, but I'm giving thanks and publicly here on video. Thank you, Creator Christ. Thank you 
Thank you for this day. Thank you for that I don't feel as bad as I did yesterday. Thank you. Uh, having a little coffee. Here you go. Uh, references, John 14, 16 through 17. Uh, John uh, chapter 16, verse 7. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Zechariah verse or chapter four verse six and then like I said you had John fourteen sixteen through seventeen and John uh, chapter sixteen verse seven uh, but uh, okay I think little big oh there's one of the little puppies out there from a different litter my big puppy trying to play with it and it's too small still. It's some puppies that are running around the tow park and stuff uh, from another dog. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what's in store for me today. I got to get to the store uh, and pick up some cleaning supplies. I said this in another video that's uploading right now. I need a few more groceries. And, uh, man, this is... It's already kind of muggy this morning. It's, it's kind of like humid feeling. So I don't know what all I'm going to do, but I hope to get a few things done in the trailer. I'm about to wash some dishes after I stop this video and start uploading. Uh, this video won't be uploaded till a little while because it takes a minute and I have another video uploading. So yeah, like I said, 50 things that really matter is uploading first. And uh, then after that's done and I've done a few things around here, I'll be uploading this video and you'll be seeing this. And I appreciate each and every one of you once again. Uh, I'm seeing that it's showing the channel at 930 subscribers right now. Oh, God. And I have so much stuff I'm behind on, like taking down the giveaway videos for the comic books. Uh, trying to get, you know, we're almost done with this video, this series. And I'll be announcing a giveaway for that probably by hopefully next week. Sometime anyway. We'll We'll see. Hopefully some people will want to enter. Anyway, until next time, Mr. Gray Cloud here, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. Ditto, 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 ditto.